Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of Penpa Plus. In the previous video, I covered how to set your puzzle and Sudoku grid using the new grid button option. I also showed you what these particular uh, parameters do. So please check out that video if you are interested in it. I will set my board for today. Uh, Doku, everything else default. There we have. In today's video, I will be talking about this row of buttons, which is edit, B, panel, border, and R. I also want to show you that I added some tooltips. If you hover over these labels, it will show what these buttons do. But I would still like to show you these things with a particular example. So let's get started. The first set of button is edit mode. And you will see it has problem and solution. Now this can be useful in two ways. The first is as a creator, if you are trying to create puzzle on the go using this tool, you can enter your clues or puzzle numbers clues which you want to uh, which how the way you want to design it in this problem mode and simultaneously simultaneously you can solve your puzzle as you keep adding clues or as you build your puzzle using solution mode now what flexibility does that give you so you, let's let's add some number and I'll show you some examples. For example, I added two, three, one, let's say two here, two here, and two here. And let's say I have pencil mark of one, two, three, one, two, three here. So I have placed these clues. I want to make sure I solve as much sudoku as possible with this much set of given clues. I go to solution mode, select number sub mode. I'll explain this sub mode style thing in some other video, but I, for now it's pretty obvious that I'm selecting number mode uh, and keeping it normal and selecting blue color for solution and black color during problem mode. While I'm in solution mode, I know that these two, right, these two give me a two here. And then this two, three, again, this is just imaginary. This is not an actual Sudoku. I'm just showing what if this had pencil marks of one, two, three. So now I know that it can't be three, it can't be two, it has to be one. So you can notice two things. First, that this one is appearing on top of the already existing numbers. That's because you added those numbers 1, 2, 3 in the problem mode. So this problem mode and solution mode are like two different layers. And anything you enter or draw or enter shape, draw line, put numbers, shade some cells in either of these modes problem or solution they are exclusive so it, it won't overwrite the information in the particular cell sure it might hide it for example let's say if you do surface surface in the problem mode i do a green shade cell if i go to solution and let's say do red sure the red is now on top of green so you can't see it, but the green is still there. So if, because if I remove the red, the green reappears. So the problem and solution mode are two different layers and individual components in this mode are exclusive. And I'll show you how is that helpful. So now suppose you are designing and I go back to problem and number mode, right? And let me erase this shading. So I used Remove all shading back to number mode. 
Now as a creator, I add these clues and I go to the solution mode and, and try to solve the Sudoku as I create. In the problem mode, I can use this visibility button which basically says to visualize solution in the problem mode. So now you can see that in the problem mode, you are seeing both the digits you entered previously and the digits you entered while in the solution mode. If I click this V off, you can notice that these numbers now are not visible which you entered in the solution mode. So sometimes you want to just see the solution while you are in the solution mode but not while creating. So this V button provides the flexibility to visualize your solution in problem mode on or off. Default is on. And this is possible because we have these two layers, problem and solution. This is one usage. The other usage is called answer check. That is, you can provide the answer to Penpa so that when you share this puzzle with your use, uh, other friends and when they solve it, the Penpa does checking with respect to the answer you provided and displays a pop-up message whether the solution is correct or not. I'll cover more about that in the next video where I'll show you the complete process of how to create a puzzle. I hope now this V button is clear. Let's move on to the panel button. This panel button is specifically useful for two modes which is number and shape mode. So if you click panel on while in the number mode, you can see that the, uh, and it's uh, first of all, you can move this panel anywhere you want based on your comfort. And then you can see it has variety of options. So you can enter numbers, text, capital letters, small letters, text. I'll show, I'll talk about this text uh, more later. But then it also has this triangular arrow. If you click, it provides you different more options, uh, the different language characters. Then you have the Roman, Roman numbers, chess pieces, and uh, the cards deck, cards, shape, and spades, etc. So you can enter, select these and it will enter those shapes into this grid. And you, depending on which mode you are in, you can enter large, small. You can explore this, but this is not the focus of today's episode. So this panel provides you more options in the number mode. And it also allows to use this whole tool on your mobile. So this is mobile friendly as well. So on the mobile, you might not be having keyboard to enter these numbers. So if you want to use this on mobile, you need to hit panel on, which will display this small window and then you can select numbers here and insert into the grid. And then in the shape mode, it provides different shapes. So you have so many shape options. Uh, you can select and it all those options appear on this panel window. So it's useful for so panel button on off is useful for number and shape mode. Now that you know, you can spend few minutes and explore all the possible shapes and varieties Penpa offers you uh, as a creator. The next I want to talk about is border. Now there are a lot of puzzles like consecutive pairs, XV Sudoku, many others where you need to enter those shapes or numbers or symbols on the edges or on the corners of the grid. For, for that you need to switch on this border option on. Now you see that this uh, selection where has become a smaller rectangle 
and it allows now you to select these edges so if i now enter type any digit i can add add it on the edge i can add this even on the border or the corner so that's how you can use the border option to add anything on i can also do shape let's say circles for consecutive pairs select this border and add the shape there are various sizes available you can explore but i'm just showing you the of what does this border feature do the last component of this video brings me to this r button as a lot of uh, users asked this feature that oh they accidentally clicked the refresh button and they lose everything all the progress they have made so far or they accidentally close the chrome to avoid that i added this feature called ask confirmation to reload or before closing the page if you switch this on let's see what happens if i try to reload so you can see it asks a pop up that do you want to reload the site because the changes you made may not be saved now you can confirm that that it was not an accidental reload or cancel it even if i try to close the browser it will pop up this message so this is to prevent losing any of your progress while creating or solving it's i made it optional to the user choice the default is off but if you like then you can switch it on so in today's video i to summarize i covered what these two layers are problem and solution mode i haven't covered yet the another feature of solution mode which is answer check as a bonus i am going to release two videos today so watch out the other video as well where i will cover the complete process of creating a sudoku on this puzzle and i'll show you how to use the solution mode for answer check then i have talked about the v mode visibility to switch on and off uh, in the problem mode to show solution or not the panel mode the border on off and then the reload option i know you might be feeling that oh this is so so many things to grasp but believe me these are kind of intuitive if you use it once uh, it takes just few minutes to understand this and then it becomes very easy to create a new puzzle or a sudoku so stay tuned and watch out watch out the other video of how to create a thermo sudoku till then please like and subscribe this channel to stay tuned with all the new videos i'm going to publish as usual any feedback is always welcome any particular button or topic or particular sudoku or puzzle type you want me to cover please let me know uh, you can send an email to penpaplus@gmail.com or you can also comment on this video description thank you guys till then take care